when I tell people that I work for the space industry, uh, I normally receive uh, several types of comments. One of them is around big Soviet rockets. People are, are asking me, are you working with big Soviet rockets? Because of my Ukrainian origin, obviously. Uh, other people are asking, is it something around SpaceX? You know, uh, so um, and obviously that, that's not true. So, and these all are adult educated people. Um, they don't know anything about space or the industry. And I'll tell you why, because uh, space has a marketing problem. Uh, I would say that we are not marketing what we have properly. Space has so much innovation out there. We have so many companies that change people's lives on a daily basis, but we are not talking about it. And uh, I will be more specific about the problem itself. I would divide it into several categories and uh, present a couple of groups uh, of issues that we see as an agency um, during our work. Uh, so the first type of problem is that space industry is still can be called it can be called like a village community. Um, we know each other very well. It is a good thing on one uh, on one hand because. Um, networking is still a very powerful tool. Uh, we um, do business through networking, you know, and uh, mostly companies get their uh, sales leads and not from paid traffic, but from in-person meetings, for example. So this is a cool, powerful tool, but at the same time where we only talk to ourselves, so we don't engage with others, with other industries, with other people, with different sectors, etc. So it's very closed. It's very, um, people, when they hear space, they're like, oh, okay, this is something not for me, you know, if they don't know anything about it. But it's not true. We should engage more. Um, and I'll be talking about it um, next. The next problem that we see is connecting with the skills pipeline. And um, everyone talks about STEM, educational outreach. Companies go out there, take nice pictures at schools, you know. But um, the thing is that, STEM and outreach is not um, just a cor um, corporate social responsibility. It's not a charitable outreach. We cannot just go to schools and give them whatever we want to give. Um, what I'm trying to say is that inspiring is necessary. And we are responsible for people who will be joining our sector in 10 years, let's say. So it shouldn't be just you know taking good pictures and that's it. It should be going out there um, working collaboratively with teachers, with schools, telling more, um, talking more to them, asking them questions like what is needed? How can we help them inspire kids? Um, so yeah, I would uh, suggest that we don't treat this as just CSR and don't um, use STEM as like a regular word. This should be more about inspiration and more about developing talent as well. Because talent should not be developed only in schools and universities. Um, companies should um, be more than, more involved into, let's say, apprenticeship schemes. Uh, should give the chance to people to uh, try um, and work for the industry at any moment of their career. So uh, definitely connecting with the skills pipeline is one of the problems that we will have very soon if we don't treat this seriously. Um, next group of problems is connecting with non-space sector. And this is important because there are so many benefits to supply chain that non-space industries can bring. And uh, it's also a chance to give other industries um, chance for other industries to give support to the space, right? To be a part of our lives. Uh, this also is a chance to commercialize the data and find new customers because uh, the um, services, the data, uh, the products that we have uh, at space industry that we produce are transferable to other industries and we are able to sell to commercialize them. Uh, one more example here is Alpha Data, Edinburgh company, one of our clients, um, they came to us uh, with um, being a company that is just involved into aerospace and they wanted to enter the space industry, right? Because they were capable of uh, supply just to the space industry. Now they're known as a NASA supplier and they're setting a good example at, as a company that um, was not involved into space from the very beginning, but is involved there now. So transferable skills is very important. 
But what's more important to, to me, as I think, is um, connecting with the general public. And this kind of covers all of the previous topics that I uh, was mentioning here before. Uh, because there are lots of misconceptions from people. I was mentioning at the very beginning of the talk that they think that the space is just Soviet rockets or, you know, some people think that, okay, this is nothing to, to, to do with serious stuff, you know, that space people are just watching Star Trek all days, you know, uh, which is not true. And we should be working with these misconceptions if we know how the industry works. Um, when you say spaceport, People think about something big like Space Canaveral and a uh, three stages rocket to lift and off. But uh, Google Prestwick, and you will see that there is a spaceport in Prestwick, which is horizontal and which enables launch from air, um, which is completely different to what you imagine um, when thinking about Space Canaveral. So this is uh, number one point. Number two point that I want to raise when talking about general public is that we need to inform people why space is important, why government is so um, focused on space, why funding is allocated, why everyone supports space industry and companies. Um, this will help us to get support from people, from local communities, because when they finally get to know what is happening next to them, how cool these projects are, they are a great support. We do this for our clients as well. And uh, this is very inspirational to know that people around you, that your local community, uh, they do support you. But um, one more problem is that space is not really an industry on its own. Space uh, industry is a part of every other industry, um, is a part of everything that we see around us at some point. Um, transportation, oil and gas, uh, environmental industries, they all use space services. How many times do you pick up your phone during the day? This is how many times you, refer, you use um, benefits of space industry, right? So there is something to share. We should not be closed. We should um, talk about this message, right? We should deliver it properly.